Hi guys, Shalom, and welcome back to the Daughters of Zion channel. I'm Ashley. And I'm Crystal. And we are back before you all praises to the Most High, guys, and we pray that you are well and you are blessed. Um, today's video is going to be entitled, uh, The Restoration of Israel. Now, I know before I put a part one, as if we were going to do a part two of the fall of Israel, but the part two is the restoration of Israel. Um, so, uh, just to preface it with saying, I know that that was real and raw because that's exactly what happened when Israel fell and what took place and, uh, uh, you know, what overtook us by the punishments of the father. But hopefully and prayerfully, this video will uplift you all when we go over the blessings of the father and how he plans to restore us and what restoration looks like for our people. So, guys, we're super excited and uh, I pray that you all again are well and go ahead and grab your books, your Bibles, your pens, your papers and most importantly, your sword. And let's get right into these scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, this is definitely a message of encouragement to the body, to the nation of Israel, Hallelujah. and to the land of Israel. And the Father has promised that he will restore us. He will gather his people. But we had to go through the punishment. We had to deal with the consequences of the choices that we made, okay? But all is well in the end for Israel. Hallelujah. So let's be encouraged. Let's be of good courage. Let's wait patiently on the Messiah as he fulfills his promises, okay? Mm -hmm. It is not all bad, Israel, okay? So the first scripture we're going to come from is the book of Isaiah. We're going to start in chapter 2, and we're going to read verses 1 through 4. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountains of the Most High's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Most High to the house of the Most High of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Most High from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, so it says, in the last days. Jerusalem and the temple of the Most High will become the world's greatest attraction and people from many lands will flow there to worship the Most High. Come everyone will say let us go up to the mountain of the Most High to the temple of the Creator of Israel. There he will teach us his laws and we will obey them for in those days the world will be ruled from Jerusalem. The Most High will settle international disputes. All the nations will convert their weapons of war into implements of peace. Then at last, all wars will stop and all military training will end. So it's saying here in this scripture, this, when it says, when it comes to pass, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. We just have to wait for the appointed time for these things to happen. So the father is telling you what's going to happen in the future concerning Israel mm -hmm. and his land. His land will once again be the main attraction of the entire world. Our king, the Messiah, will rule the entire world from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And everybody is going to be talking about Jerusalem when the king arrives. Mm -hmm. And he will handle international disputes and there will be no more war. There mm -hmm. is no need for war when the Messiah is here. Mm -hmm. Because he knows all things. He's all powerful. He's mighty. There is no need for weapons. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, the father is saying Jerusalem will once again be reestablished. And our king will rule from his homeland Jerusalem and Israel, mm -hmm. okay? And everyone will come to Jerusalem to be taught by the Messiah, to learn his laws, and they will obey them, okay? Mm -hmm. So Jerusalem is going to be the hot spot of the world. It's going to be phenomenal once the king takes his place in Jerusalem. 
this will come to pass. It's a guarantee, mm -hmm. okay? Now, the second scripture is Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 through 8. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verses 1 through 8. Mm -hmm. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Most High for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Most High has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepters of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So it says, but the Most High will have mercy on. on the Israelis. Hallelujah. They are still his special ones. Mm. He will bring them back to settle once again in the land of Israel. And many nationalities will come and join them there and be their loyal allies. Mm. The nations of the world will help them to return. And those coming to live in their land will serve them. Mm. Those enslaving Israel will be enslaved. Israel shall rule her enemies. And Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there real Hallelujah. quick. Hallelujah. Because the Father is letting the nations know, you have two choices. Mm -hmm. You will either come and join my people and be their servants and their allies, or you're going into slavery. Mm -hmm. Those who enslaved Israel shall be enslaved. Mm -hmm. Okay? So he's making it known to the nations what's going to happen concerning you all mm -hmm. any nationality any nation outside of israel okay now in that wonderful day when the most high gives his people rest from sorrow israel rest from sorrow and fear from slavery and chains so he's already letting you know we're going to be at rest mm -hmm. okay no more sorrow no more fear no more slavery, no more chains when the king comes to redeem us and restore us, okay? This is just a punishment that we have to endure because of the decision we made to go against the Most High, mm -hmm. okay? You will jeer at the king of Babylon and say, you bully you. At last you have what was coming to you. For the Most High has crushed your wicked power mm. and broken your evil rule. Now, the Messiah is talking about America, okay? Mm -hmm. He's talking about Babylon. Mm -hmm. And we are finally going to be able to say, enough, America. Enough with your evil power and your evil rule. The Father knows that y'all are wicked, mm -hmm. okay? We know that this is the seat of the devil. Mm -hmm. And you get your power and your guidance from the enemy, mm -hmm. okay? You have wicked power and broken your evil rule. Mm. Okay? Our government system is evil and wicked. Okay? You persecuted my people with unceasing blows of rage and held the nations in your angry grip. And this is why the nations are about to come against America. Because the nations are tired of being bullied by America mm -hmm. and their wicked power and their wicked rule. Mm -hmm. Okay? It is all written. Mm -hmm. You must believe. So when these things happen, you're not caught off guard. You're not fearful because the Father has already exposed America for who they truly are. Okay? Mm -hmm. They are a wicked government, a wicked system, a evil people. Okay? You were unrestrained in tyranny, but at last the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. So the world is going to be at peace once Messiah comes and Babylon falls. Mm -hmm. Okay? It says even the trees 
of the woods mm -hmm. will sing. The trees are happy that America has fallen because they're tired of being chopped and cut down for your idols, mm -hmm. for your houses, and for uh, your, your pagan holidays. The, the, that's not the purpose of the trees. So the trees themselves will rejoice mm -hmm. over your fall. Mm -hmm. as will the people that you have oppressed for so many years, okay? We will rejoice at the fall of Babylon. We will sing praises unto the Most High for bringing us out of this wicked, evil place, okay? We had enough of captivity, although we understand that this is our punishment, mm -hmm. okay? We are now crying to the Most High to come and get us to keep his promise of restoration. We don't want to be here anymore. We get that we have forsaken the most high yes. we understand that we have committed evil before thine sight and we are ready to um repent and cry out to the father in 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 hopes that he will hear our prayers and come and rescue us we understand now the spirit has been poured out the books have been opened we have been given sight to see yes. okay we understand fully what's going on Hallelujah. here okay babylon time is up Mm -hmm. And we are going home and we will be restored as a nation, as a people with our king. Yes. Okay. Hallelujah. So the next scripture we're going to will be Isaiah 25, 6 through 10. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 25, verses 6 through 10. And in this mountain shall the most high of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. Mm. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death in victory. And the Most High, Allah will wipe away tears from off all faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away mm. from off all the earth. For the Most High has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our Allah We have waited for him. Mm. And he will save us. This is the Most High. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Most High rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunghill. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Father is saying, when you return, one of the promises is that I will have a wondrous feast for my people. Okay? Here on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, the Most High of hosts will spread a wondrous feast for everyone around the world. A delicious feast of good food Come on. with clear, well-aged wine and choice beef. At that time, he will remove the cloud of gloom, the pall of death that hangs over the earth. He will swallow up death forever. The Most High will wipe away all tears and oh, take Lord. away forever all insults and mockery against his land and his people Hallelujah. the most high has spoken he will surely do it mm -hmm. okay so that's one thing about the father when he says something come on he is going to do it you mm -hmm. best believe we just have to be patient and wait for this thing to come to pass because it is written and he said it so he's going to do it okay mm -hmm. in that day the people will proclaim this is our father in whom we trust for whom we've waited. Now at last he is here. What a day of rejoicing. Hallelujah. Man, I <laughs> tell you, when our king arrives, yes. what a day of rejoicing. Yes. When he breaks the chains off, off of our slavery and bondage, when we leave this place, mm -hmm. what a day of rejoicing. Yes. What a mighty father we serve yes. that he can do these things and that he can be a man of his word and keep his promises. Okay? I mean, the joy is going to be unexplainable mm -hmm. when we see our king face to face, the Messiah, mm -hmm. the one who is risen. And he will reestablish us, his land and his people. No more death, Israel. Mm -hmm. No more mockery. No more slander. No more insults against us. No more bywords, okay? 
we will be known as the people of the Most High, the chosen ones of Israel, the remnant of the Most High, the Israelites, the Jews, okay? Mm -hmm. And they know it now. It's just for it to be manifested before mm -hmm. their very eyes. It's it's one thing to know who we are and mm -hmm. still be up under their grip and their grasp. Yes. But to be fully restored. Mm. Mount Zion with the king. Like <laughs> it's it's unfathomable. What a promise. But that's what he said. One of the scriptures said, You you're not even gonna believe it even though it be told to you. It's that good. You're we not can't you can't fathom. You can't. <laughs> it, you're reading it right yes. here. It says what he's going to do. But we have been beaten down and trodden on for so long. Thank it's you, hard God. to see the other side of the fence. Yeah. Even though it's clear as day what he's going to do. And how we're going to be restored. And how life is going to be when mm -hmm. we get home. Mm -hmm. I'll restore you above your fathers. I'm going to do you better than I did even the, the ancients of old. Come on. And that they... It was good, mm -hmm. you know, and that's because the father's good and he loves his people. And again, yes. just like he said, he will yet choose Israel. Mm. There's not nothing you can do or that we have done that can make the father change mm -hmm. his mind about his people. Mm -hmm. He loves us dearly with an agape love. It's 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 true love. Yes. And this is what this is who we serve. Yeah. This is who's coming to get us. And what a glorious day it shall mm -hmm. surely be. When it comes to pass. It says who we, this is who we trust. This is our father who we've waited on. And he's finally here. Hallelujah. We've been waiting on you, Messiah. Just like the, the people of old, even though it was very few, they could not wait for the Messiah to come because it, it had been written that he would come. Mm -hmm. And people um, were waiting for the Messiah. Now, they didn't understand that when he came, he had to suffer first mm -hmm. before his kingdom could rule, mm -hmm. but they they were anticipating the prophets, the mm -hmm. law. Mm -hmm. Moses mm -hmm. said, "One greater is mm -hmm. y'all should be expecting mm -hmm. this man to come." But even though he was creator of heaven and earth, many did not recognize him when he came. Mm -hmm. Only those who had the true faith mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. able to recognize the Messiah. Mm -hmm. But we have been chosen to know, understand, and believe the scriptures mm -hmm. through the authority, which is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we are too waiting on our king, yes, anticipating yes. him to come mm -hmm. because all will be well mm -hmm. when he arrives. Mm -hmm. There is nothing no one can do against the people of the most high hallelujah. when the king comes. Yes, hallelujah. Just what like a the disciples sight to see. Just like the disciples asked, they said, uh, at, at this time shall you restore unto us the kingdom. Mm -hmm. and, and and Christ said, Hamashiach said, it's, it's not for you to know that time which is in the Father's power, it's right. in his hand. But that didn't mean it wouldn't come. So mm. it's it's hope that we long for to be restored, to be with him, to to be reconciled back and, and not have any wars, not be under a cruel devil-worshipping system <laughs> and a, a wicked... Uh, uh, uneven balances you know we, we can't even receive justice in this place our children are dying we're being uh, uh, disrespected and and belittled and talked about and and it's just we're being bypassed in every facet and form and it's just a beautiful thing to know that the most high is faithful and keeping his promises it's just it's just what you have to wait upon and and he said, wait on it. Even though it tarry, it shall, it shall surely come to pass. And it will not tarry. Ain't that something? Yeah. It's going to come so quick and be so good that we're not even going to remember this. We're not going to remember this pain. And that's what he said. We are his witnesses of Israel. We're not just witnessing what happens when we betray the Most High. But we're also going to witness when the love of the Most High is when he's for us. Mm -hmm. When he restores us. So we are witnesses to both sides. What happens when we go against the Most High, Israel, come on. It is not a secret anymore that we are going through it and we've been going through it, okay? The, the mistreatment, the unfairness, the, 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 the slander, the death, the killing, the, the injustice mm -hmm. that has been put on us because of the decision that we made to leave the father mm -hmm. but we will also be his witnesses Abba willing to see the restoration the regathering of his people Hallelujah. to see our king face to face mm -hmm. the creator in the flesh mm -hmm. to see the temple rebuilt to see the land flourish mm -hmm. 
all of that we are going to be his witness to mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. we are going to that's why he said endure to the end and you shall we have to see these we things we are him. going to see the glory of the most high we're mm -hmm. going to see him tear down our enemies round about us we're going to see him break through the wall and set the captives free we're going to see israel desolate and then restored, restored yeah. as the garden of eden mm -hmm. we're going to see the people repopulated we're going to see israel as a nation strong on one accord praising the most high Hallelujah. we're going to see the nations come to our king and submit and yeah. learn of his ways yes. we are those witnesses yes. so hold on. hold on psalms 27 wait mm -hmm. Be of good courage, yes. and he will strengthen mm -hmm. thine heart. Mm -hmm. Wait, I say, mm -hmm. on the most high. Wait upon him. And those Ooh. who wait upon him are never ashamed. Mm -hmm. We're never forsaken. We're never left uh, uh, in limbo. We're never left disappointed because the Father is true to his word, and it won't return unto him void. Right. And it's even a blessing now as we speak to be alive in this time, to witness Israel waking back up, those Ooh. dry bones coming back to life. It is a blessing to behold. We used to behold nothing but bickering, complaining, fighting, division, disloyalty, uh, 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 adultery, all kinds of stuff. But now we see the people of the Most High recognizing, understanding, repenting, and turning back to the covenant, returning back to the Messiah, believing on his word, keeping his commandments and his laws and his statutes, and doing everything in their power to please the Father. Because this is who we truly are. Even though we endured a horrible situation and we continue to, we still have not lost our faith and our hope in the promises of the Father. And He is good. He is good and worthy to be praised. Worthy. Yes, He is. The Master had to knock us clean off our feet. He told us up. Because we was filling ourselves. Mm -hmm. Thinking that somehow we could get by without Him. Oh. I mean, the ultimate disrespect. Mm -hmm. Okay? Amongst other things. Yes. But we're going to move on. Okay? Isaiah 44, verses 1 through 8. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1 through 8. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Most High that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. I'm sorry, Jeshurun means upright. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Most High's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Most High, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Most High, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Allahayim of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who, as I, shall call, and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people, and the things that are coming, and shall come, let them shew unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time? and have declared it. Mm. Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Mm. Yea, there is no God. I know not any. Hallelujah. Come on, the Father, the Father. is speaking now. <laughs> you just gotta have ears to hear. Yep. He's making it very clear. Mm -hmm. It says, listen to me, O my servant Israel. Hallelujah. O my chosen ones, the Most High who made you, who will help you, says, O servant of mine, don't be afraid. O oh, Jerusalem, my chosen ones, don't be afraid. For I will give you abundant water for your thirst and for your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit and my blessings on your children. They shall thrive like watered grass, like willows on a riverbank. I am the most high. They'll proudly say, or I am a Jew, mm -hmm. and tattoo upon the hands the name of the Most High or the honored name of Israel. 
the Most High, the King of Israel, says, yes, it is Israel's Redeemer, the Most High of hosts, who says it. I am the first and the last. Mm -hmm. There is no other. Who else, who else <laughs> can tell you what is going to happen mm -hmm. in the days ahead? Mm -hmm. Let them tell you if they can and prove their power. Mm -hmm. He calling you out. Yeah. Let them do as <laughs> I have done since ancient times. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Haven't I proclaimed from ages past that I would save you? Mm. You are my witnesses. Mm -hmm. Is there any other God? No. Mm -hmm. None that I know about. Mm -hmm. There is no other rock. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the father saying, my remnant will survive just to be a witness mm -hmm. to all that I am going to do. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. I told you before you were formed in your mother's womb that I will rescue you. Mm -hmm. I will protect you. When you go through those high waters and those storms, you will not drown. Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a man of his word. Mm -hmm. Be of good courage. If you have the most high through the sun, you have nothing to fear. Mm -hmm. We Now listen, we are witnesses. So that means we're going to see a lot of stuff go down. We're going to see a lot. But be not afraid. Mm -hmm. None shall come near your dwelling place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will keep you in the palm of my hand mm -hmm. with my hedge of protection. You're going to see what I do. You're going to see how I bring you out. Hallelujah. And you will witness Hallelujah. to others what I have done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the father is saying there is nobody else like me. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe it, watch. And you're going to see what I do. Mm -hmm. and for my name's sake. Sorry about that. Witnesses to the same thing that our ancestors saw when they were coming out of Egypt. They witnessed his wrath, his judgment, his power upon Pharaoh and his kingdom. Yes, and he, he reminds us of that. Y'all know what I did to Pharaoh. You saw how I brought you out on eagle's wings unto myself. Come on. How I made a covenant with you. You <laughs> saw how I destroyed their gods by their gods. How can they worship the calf? Then the calf got towed up. Worship the locust. He sent locusts. He completely destroyed them. And then when they tried to pursue after us, he became for us protection surrounding us with, with a pillar of fire. And, and, and keeping light in our dwelling places, it's it's un, mm -hmm. it's unreal. He's saying, I'm going to do greater than that this time. Yep. And you're going to witness it. You're going to see how I knock the, the, the head off a of Statue of Liberty. You're going to see how I completely <laughs> level everything in this place. You're going to see how even anybody that was in cahoots, that <laughs> then teamed up with them, are going to be walking around in shame and mm. utter disappointment. It said that people are going to hiss at this place. That when they walk past, they're going to say, is that? Is that America that's right? That's the people that, that That's what they're going to be saying. And we're going to be singing. As we're rejoicing up out of this place. Because the Father has promised us a promise that he cannot break. He will save us. He will He will spare us from this destruction. He will allow us to endure if we pray that we're found worthy to escape. Yes. And he says several times repeatedly, do not be afraid. Uh -huh. I got y'all. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid. They're going to try their little tactics to mm -hmm. scare you, passing Jim Crow laws. and stuff. You can't touch me. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm in the Father's mm -hmm. hand, mm -hmm. those are just threats, mm -hmm. okay? And my Father don't do well with threats when it comes to his people. Come it's on. like poking them in his eye. Come you on. best to be careful mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I hope you, okay? Mm -hmm. So you, you, you understand who we have on our side, Israel. Mm -hmm. He cannot be touched, mm -hmm. undefeated, mm -hmm. never been... Defeat it, mm -hmm. okay? And even if the Father counts you worthy to be a martyr, even if the Father causes death to come upon you even in these come times, on, we don't lose. To die come is to on. gain. 
To be absent from the body is to be present with the Most High. We do not lose. Make sure that you are in Hamashiach. Make sure that you have your faith and your loins girded. Make sure that you have that oil in In your your lamps. Make sure that they are trimmed. Make sure that you are amongst the wise virgins and not the foolish. Make sure that you're doing everything in your power to repent. Keep his commandments. Teach others. Preach the word of God. uh, Mm -hmm. Preach the word of the Most High to all the believers, to all the earth. This is what it's about. It don't matter what you're talking about. You will bow down. Come on. It doesn't matter what you think or possibly had processed in your mind. He will be exalted. Nobody can overpower him. There's none beside him, before him. He don't have to counsel nobody. He ain't got to change nothing. He wrote through the prophets. I'm just going to make it happen. We got to make it happen. Either you're going to be ready or you're not. Come on. But it's happening. Come on. Farewell, America. <laughs> Goodbye. Your time is up. Judgment is on the way. They know it. They running crazy scared. They running. They and he already you, said that. He said they're going to they gonna say to the mountain, fall on us. Because the day of his wrath and his judgment has come. This, the day we knew about, but tried to play around. Tried to keep disrespecting his people so we could keep such a yoke on them that they would never return back and begin to cry out to the Father. But that's what he said. Don't worry about it because I'm going to even pour out my spirit in the last days. Cause y'all to come back anyway and start crying out to me. Just so I can accomplish what I already wrote. They're going to get it. They're going to have to bite this. They're going to have to drink from the same cup. They're going to have to drink that cup of wrath. There is no escaping. Have you not learned from the fall of Israel? Hallelujah. He said, go back and read the testimonies. I'm not playing them when it comes to I sin. didn't spare my own people. If I didn't spare the angels, mm. if I ain't spare Ooh. my own children, mm. how much more? My son. To mm. the nations round about. Wow. Y'all better brace for impact. Yep. It's happening. Yep. Okay? Yep. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Isaiah 49, verse 13 through 26. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verses 13 through 26 yes ma'am sing O heavens and be joyful O earth and break forth into singing O mountains for the most high hath comforted his people Mm. and will have mercy upon his afflicted but zion said the most high hath forsaken me and my allah hath forgotten me can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb yea they may forget Yet will I not forget thee. Mm. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste. Thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thine eyes round about and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, saith the Most High, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament and bind them on thee. As a bride doeth for thy waste and thy desolate places and the land of thy destruction shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants and they shall and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have after thou hast lost the other shall say again in thine ears. The place is too straight for me. Give place to me that I may dwell. Then shalt thou say in thine heart who hath begotten me these seeing I have lost my children and am desolate, a captive and removing to and fro. And who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. These were had by the, excuse me, behold, I was left alone. These, where had they been? Thus saith the most high Allah, behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in their arms. And thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. Mm. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, Mm. and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, Mm. and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Most High, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive deliver? But thus saith the Most High, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with me. And I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Most High, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. 
Hallelujah. Listen, y'all. I know a lot of us are out here dispirited. We feel like the Father has forgotten about us. It says, never. Mm. Can a mother forget her little child and not have love for her own son? Mm. Yet, even if that should be, mm -hmm. I will not forget you. Mm. Okay? He is not like man. We know that some people abandon their children. But mm. the Father will not mm -hmm. abandon us. Mm -hmm. Okay? See, I have tattooed your name upon my palm. And ever before me is a picture of... Of Jerusalem's walls in ruins. Mm. The father got to see Jerusalem destroyed every day. Yes. Every day, look at my land. Mm -hmm. Soon, your rebuilders shall come and chase away all those destroying you. Wow. Look and see, for the Most High has vowed mm. that all your enemies shall come and be your slaves. Mm. They will be as jewels to display as bridal ornaments. Mm. Even the most desolate parts of your abandoned land shall soon be crowded with your people. And your enemies who enslaved you shall be far away. The generations born in exile, that's us, mm -hmm. shall return and say, we need more room. <laughs> It's crowded here. <laughs> then you will think to yourself, who has given me all these? For most of my children were killed and the rest were carried away into exile, leaving me here alone. He's talking about the land of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Who bore these? Mm -hmm. Who raised them for me? Mm -hmm. The Most High says, see, I will give a signal to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And they shall carry your little sons back to you in their arms mm. and your daughters on their shoulders. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Kings and queens shall serve you. Mm. They shall care for all your needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They shall bow to the earth before you. Hallelujah. And lick the dust from off your feet. Mm. <laughs> it's too good. I know. It's too good. Then you shall know. Mm -hmm. I am the most high. Mm -hmm. Those who wait for me shall never be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Who can snatch the prey from the hands of a mighty man? Who can demand that a tyrant let his captives go? Mm. But the most high says, even the captives of the most mighty and most terrible mm. shall all be free. Mm. Goodbye, Babylon! <laughs> For I will fight those who fight you. Mm. And I will save your children. Hallelujah. I will feed your enemies with their own flesh. And they shall be drunk with rivers of their own blood. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all want that adrenochrome? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the world. All the world shall know <laughs> that I am the most high. Mm -hmm. I am your savior and redeemer, the mighty one of Israel. Mm -hmm. Y'all, is y'all hearing this? Come on. He's not playing around mm -hmm. when he say, I'm going to restore you. Be, don't be afraid. Yeah. Wait on me. Hallelujah. Watch what I do. Hallelujah. I'm going to make sure mm -hmm. that your enemies pay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure mm -hmm. that you are served mm -hmm. and well taken care mm -hmm. of. I'm going to make them come and bow at your feet and show them that you are indeed the ones that I love. Mm. It is not a game. Mm -hmm. Just like when Jerusalem fell and famine hit the land of Israel and we was eating flesh. Mm -hmm. What you sow, mm -hmm. you shall reap. You mm -hmm. should have learned from the fall of Israel, America, that you do not play with the most high. Mm -hmm. But you didn't learn. Mm -hmm. So now you must burn. We are going to see this with our own eyes. Mm -hmm. What the Father has already done before, he's going to do again because mm -hmm. he's not playing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go, not the adrenochrome. <laughs> Girl. Let's go to Isaiah 51, <laughs> 1 through 8. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51, verses 1 through 8. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, mm. ye that seek the Most High. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit 
whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarai that bare you. Mm. For I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Most High shall comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Most High. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving, and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, mm. for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arm shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust. Mm -hmm. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Mm. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revilings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation for generation to generation. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. And the Most High will bless Israel again and make her deserts blossom. Her barren wilderness will become as beautiful as the Garden of Eden. Mm. Joy and gladness will be found there. Thanksgiving and lovely songs. Mm. Y'all, we gonna re... Our whole mood won't change. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be rejoicing. We're going to be singing. Mm -hmm. It ain't no more sorrow. Mm -hmm. Ain't no more fear. No more tears. No more death. Our king is here. Our king is here. Okay? The land itself will be as the Garden of Eden. Oh, now, yeah. you know if the land is good, the people going to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay? That means everything that will be grown in the land will be fresh. <laughs> no more GMO. Yeah. No more tainted fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. No more pesticides our, being on, sprayed our, on. Our, our cattle's gonna be healthy and fat. I'm talking lamb chops. Yeah, come on. Oxtail. Come on. <laughs> the best cuts of beef. Come on. None, none of this stuff. The no best more. wine. Woo! The freshest water. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Milk. Fr <laughs> Listen to me, my people. Mm -hmm. Listen, oh Israel, for I will see that right prevails. Come on. My mercy and justice are coming soon. Hallelujah. Just hold on, y'all. Yes. Your salvation is on the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will rule the nations. They shall wait for me and long for me. We are longing for the king to come. come please on. come get us, come Father. On. It's like kids waiting at daycare, waiting for their parents to come pick them up. <laughs> I know she should be here pulling up any minute, about mm -hmm. 5.45, 5.30. Mm -hmm. I'm anticipating the arrival mm -hmm. of my parents. Come get me out of here. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look high in the sky and watch the earth beneath. Hallelujah. For the earth shall wear out like a garment and the people of the earth shall die like flies. But my salvation lasts forever. My righteousness rule will never die or end. Mm -hmm. Once the king set up his kingdom, that's it. Forevermore. Mm -hmm. It's all his. Mm -hmm. From there on out, nothing but righteousness. Eternal peace. This wickedness it's going to come to an end. I'm yes, sick it of is. it. This stinks. Listen to me. You who know the right from wrong. And cherish my laws in your hearts. Don't be afraid of people's scorn or their slanderous talk. Mm -hmm. Let them. You can't put no fear in us. We walking with the most high. Come on. He did not give us the spirit of fear. I don't care what they talking with about. The power of love. Even when summer. facing death, Power's. I am with you. Yes. 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 Once you know this truth, you are untouchable. Yeah. Even if you die, you're still untouchable. Mm -hmm. This is the truth they never wanted you to know mm -hmm. or understand mm -hmm. or get to. Mm -hmm. That's why it was lies on top of lies. They trying to keep you from the Father. Mm -hmm. But when you come to the, when you draw nigh to him and he draw nigh, this is the revelation you get. Yes, it is. Yes, now it is. I can walk around with my head held high, not low, mm -hmm. because I know who I am. I know where I'm coming from and I know where I'm going. I know who I serve. Come on, come on. Okay? Mm -hmm. For the moth shall destroy them like garments. The worm shall eat them like wool. But my justice and mercy shall last forever. And my salvation 
from generation to generation. Come on. It don't get any better. It don't get no better. It's something to wait on. It's something to wait for. He alone is good. Mm -hmm. He's That's all he is, mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. It's worth turning away from your wicked ways. Ooh. It's worth repenting. It's worth giving up your sin and understanding and recognizing that it was sin that separated Come us on. from the Father. Mm. We have a Savior who has reconciled us back to all power, back to the Mighty One, back to the Promise Keeper, and He shall restore. Forgive and us, that's of, our neighbor. And a lot mm -hmm. of people will say, I don't want to die. Mm -hmm. So why are you living in sin? Come on. The wages of sin is death. If you do not want to die or experience the second death, turn from your wicked ways. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they hated the Messiah because he exposed their wickedness. Come on. But exposing you is only helping you. Yeah. But you, you get so offended. Mm -hmm. He said, don't be offended when I correct you. I correct those that I love. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you mm -hmm. what you're doing wrong so you can get it right. Mm -hmm. Because when I come back and if you're doing it wrong, you're done. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't want to die, get out of sin. Mm -hmm. The wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Stop what you're doing. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54. One through 15. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verses 1 through 15. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, mm. saith the Most High. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make them and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget thy, the shame of thy youth, mm -hmm. and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is mm -hmm. thine husband. Come on. The most high of hosts is his name, yes. and thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel, the Allah of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Most High hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved mm. in spirit, and a wife of youth. When thou wast refused, saith thy Allah For a small moment mm, have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee mm. for a moment, mm. but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. Say if the most high thy redeemer. This makes me emotional. Hallelujah. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth. So have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee. Nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart. And the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Allah Hayim that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, mm. and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, mm. and all thy borders of pleasant stones, mm. and all thy children shall be taught of the Most High, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Mm. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Mm. You said to 16 or 15? 15. My bad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. For a brief moment, I abandon you. Mm. But with great compassion, I will gather you. Mm. Come on. In a, in a moment of anger, I turn my face a little while. These 400 years, over 400 years is only a little a while. A little while. while. Stop playing with him. He's not even on the same time frame. In a moment of anger, I turn my face a little while, but with everlasting love, mm. I will have pity on you, 
says the most high your redeemer like i said we're witnesses to him abandoning us turning away from us for a little while and we're also his witnesses when he shows us compassion and love when he's Pity for us mercy okay upon us, just as in the time of Noah, I swore that I would never again permit the waters of a flood to cover the earth and destroy its life. So now I swear that I will never again pour out my anger on you as I have during this exile. Mm. For the mountains may depart and the hills disappear, but my kindness shall not leave you. Mm. My promise of peace for you will never be broken, mm. says the Most High who has mercy upon you. O oh, my afflicted people, tempted, tossed, and troubled, I will rebuild you on a foundation of sapphires and make the walls of your houses from precious jewels. I will make your towers of sparkling a gate and your gates and walls of shining gems. And all your citizens shall be taught by me and their prosperity shall be great. You will live under a government that is just and fair. Hallelujah. Not this wicked, evil, Babylonian government, okay? Mm. Half of them are fallen angels. <laughs> They're not even human. They are. That's another That's a fact. subject for another time. Mm -hmm. Your enemies will stay far away. You will live in peace. Israel, we're going to live in peace. Can you... I know it's saying it, but can you really can fathom? It? I mean, not having to worry about nothing mm -hmm. you don't got to worry about the police being called on mm -hmm. you you ain't got to worry about eviction notices mm -hmm. you ain't got to worry about uh losing your job mm -hmm. you ain't got to worry about how am i take care of these kids i don't got mm -hmm. enough money you ain't got to worry about mm -hmm. not peace we will enjoy our children husbands you will enjoy your wives wives you will enjoy your husbands we're gonna get along we're gonna sing mm. dance praise eat the best foods like we are going to live a life of everlasting peace with nobody's our nobody's going to be frustrated nobody's <laughs> going to be angry nobody's going to have guns to shoot up no more anything. division no more division mm -hmm. no more light skin versus dark skin come on none of that we're all going to be united as a nation learning in and obeying in love Hallelujah. and the instructions of the most high everybody in the kingdom is going to be righteous yes no flaws mm -hmm. oh my goodness restoration even handicaps gone <sighs> people that have had strokes ailments done for everybody will have radiant health yes youthfulness <laughs> but in that coming day no weapon turned against you shall succeed and if you have and if and you will have justice against every courtroom lie mm -hmm. no more going to court nervous because you know even <laughs> though you telling the truth they still got the power to lock you Come up on. none of that we're gonna have righteous judges okay this is the heritage of the servants of the most high come on this is the blessing i have given you says the most high mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wait on him <laughs> wait on him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my my mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. for a brief moment i was mad at you what did, what did he say? Has he got <laughs> Don't try to say Dang, it. Dang, because it was in my spirit. For Come a brief on. moment, I abandoned you. you but with deep compassion. But to bring you back with a deep compassion. What I planned to do. do. Come on. You disobeyed. I made you slaves. I, I was, was mad, mad at you. you. Had, had to send, send my son to die for y'all. Somebody, somebody had, had to. Glory. Come on, glory. Okay. We give you glory. You can't stop. <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on, Hezekiah. Come on, brother Hezekiah. Come on. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 62 in its entirety. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, mm. and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. Mm. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Most High shall name, which the mouth of the Most High shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Most High, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy Allah Hayim. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hephzibah, mm. and thy land Beulah. 
Mm. Let's see what Hefziba means. My delight is in her. Ooh. Beulah means married. For the Allah delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man yeah. marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy Allah rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Mm. Yet that may, ye that make mention of the Most High keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish mm. and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Come on. The Most High has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Most High. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Mm. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Most High hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Most High. And thou, and thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. My, my, Hallelujah. My. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, verse 2, the nations shall see your righteousness. Mm. We're going to be a righteous people, Hallelujah. a holy people. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Come on. Kings shall be blinded by your glory. <laughs> <laughs> They're they going to be like, yo, Israel is bright and brilliant and ready. I can't even see y'all so righteous. <laughs> Stop. Show me how you Kings will be. shall be blinded by your glory. And the Most High will confer on you a new name. He will hold you aloft in his hands for all to see. Look at my people. They never gave up on me. They waited patiently for me. Mm -hmm. And now I can hold you aloft in my hands for all the world to see. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. A splendid crown for the kings of kings. Mm -hmm. Never again shall you be called the God forsaken land. Or the land that God forgot. Mm -hmm. Your new name will be the land of the Most High's delight mm -hmm. and the bride. For the Most High delights in you and will claim you as his own. Wow. Hallelujah. Your children will care for you. Mm. No more convalescing home. No more putting your parents away mm -hmm. when they get sick and old. No, you're going to take care of your parents. Mm -hmm. As we have been commanded to do. With gladness. With gladness. Your children would take care, will take care of you, O Jerusalem, with joy like that of a young man who marries a virgin. And the Most High will rejoice over you as a bridegroom with his bride. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, and we're going to take care of Jerusalem, too. That's yes, incredible. the land. No that more land. littering. No mm -hmm. more drugs in the street. None of that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be taken care of. Holy. Don't defile the land that the Father gave us. You know what I'm saying? No more killing, no more bloodshed in Jerusalem that defiles the land. Okay? No more lynching on the trees which defiles the land. Okay? Go out. Go out. Verse 10. Prepare the roadway for my people to return. Build the roads. Pull out the boulders. Raise the flag of Israel. See, the Most High has sent his messengers to every land and said, Tell my people. What you want us to say? Tell my people, mm -hmm. the Messiah, your creator, mm -hmm. is coming to save you Hallelujah. and will bring you many gifts. Hallelujah. Israel, the Father told us to tell you mm -hmm. that he is coming to save us. Hallelujah. And he will bring many gifts with him. Yes. Our reward is with him. Come on. We have to wait on him. Mm -hmm. And they shall be called the holy people. And the Most High is redeemed. And Jerusalem shall be called the land of desire. And the city the Most High has blessed. Hallelujah. No more slave names. Mm -hmm. No, you're getting a new name. Mm -hmm. A name that means something to the Most High. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hallelujah. You know he had meaning in his names. Mm -hmm. You change your name real quick. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. That's not who you are. Mm. 
okay? Let's go to verse, I'm at chapter 65, 17 through 25. We almost done, Israel. 65, 17 through 25. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verses 17 through 25. Mm -hmm. For behold, I create new heavens mm. and a new earth, mm. and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. Mm. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. Mm. For the child shall die an hundred years old. Mm. But the sinner, being an hundred years old, shall be accursed. Mm. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Mm. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Most High, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear, My goodness, mm. the wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, mm. saith the Most High. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be glad. Rejoice forever in my creation. Look, I will recreate Jerusalem as a place of happiness, mm. and her people shall be a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and in my people. And the voice of weeping and crying shall not be heard there any more. Hallelujah. No more crying? Come on. No more weeping? Mm. No longer will babies die when only a few days old. Mm. No longer will men be considered old at a hundred. Mm. Only sinners will die that young. Mm. So we're going back to the times of the old times. They lived like 998 Come years on, old, Mr. 755 years mm -hmm. old. That's what we're talking about. Okay? In those days when a man built a house, he will keep on living in it. Mm. No more eviction. There ain't no, no more such property thing as taxes, a foreclosure. No foreclosures. No more selling and renting. No more 30, 40 year mortgage. That's your house. You built it. You keep it. Mm. That means no more homeless. People are losing the homes they grew up in for $2,000 of back taxes. For less than that, because at a certain point they can't afford. It's like, how ridiculous is this? But none of that, no more. No more. You build it, you keep it. Come on, and you're going to live in it. In those days, when a man builds a house, he will keep on living in it. I will not, it will not be destroyed by invading armies, because there ain't going to be no more war. Mm -hmm. What you coming with, the a, past. a pruning hook? <laughs> Plows here. <laughs> My people will plant vineyards and eat the fruit themselves. Come on, hallelujah. Their enemies will not confiscate it. This sounds like the reversal of the curses in Deuteronomy. <laughs> yes, it is. He said, exactly. y'all will plant and reap nothing. But that's what he said. He said, the, the curses I put on you, I'm going to put them on your enemy. Come on. So everything that we had to go through, they're going to have to go through because that's what the father used. He uses reverse his curses. the curse. Come on. Reverse, reverse the curse. the curse. Mm -hmm. He's about to reverse the curse. Yep. Yep. Okay? For my people will live as long as trees. Mm. Hallelujah. You know how long these trees <laughs> and will long enjoy their hard-won gains. Okay? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Their harvest will not be eaten by their enemies. Thank you, Father. Their children will not be born to be cannon fodder. For they are the children of those the Most High has blessed. Mm. So if you are the remnant that returns to Jerusalem, when you have children, they are going to be blessed children. Yes. Because y'all are children of the remnant who the Father saved for himself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Woo! And their children, too, shall be blessed. Mm. 
I will answer them before they even call to me. My goodness. While they are still talking to me, talking me to death, while <laughs> they're still talking to me about their needs, I will go ahead and answer their prayers. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. The lion shall eat straw as the ox does, and poisonous snakes shall strike no more. In those days, nothing, I mean nothing, Come on. and no one shall be hurt mm. or destroyed in all my holy mountains, says the Most High. No more scraped knees. <laughs> no more getting beat up. None of that. You cannot get hurt. Yeah. You will not cry. Mm -hmm. The animals are going to get along. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all got to understand, since Israel fell, the whole world has fallen. Oh, because wow. nobody, no nation is righteous like Israel. So when Israel gets back on top, the world itself will be at peace. Mm -hmm. The world is waiting for the restoration of Israel. You can be in denial all you want. Mm -hmm. The world is out of control right now because of the fall of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because what does the scripture say? Salvation comes to the world through the Jews. Mm -hmm. The Messiah was a Jew. Mm -hmm. Okay? So without salvation coming through the Jews, what do you got? Mm -hmm. Wickedness. You got America ruling the world. Mm -hmm. Wicked power, mm -hmm. evil rule. Mm -hmm. That's what we're dealing with right now mm -hmm. because Israel is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But when we come back on the top, mm -hmm. come on. he said the trees are going to rejoice. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for restoration. We've mm -hmm. been waiting for somebody righteous mm -hmm. to rule. Mm -hmm. No wonder the world is blind because the light that he gave to the world, we not showing him. We're not showing forth the light. We're not showing forth the righteousness that the Father in, in, gave to us to be a blessing. And, and when we fail, again, you got a whole bunch of blind people leading the world. Blind leading the blind. And they shall surely fall into a pit. Mm. But once we are restored, again, like the scriptures say, it's going to be a sight to behold. Yes. A sight to behold. The Father can again dwell with his people mm. in his land. Untouched, unharmed. Who coming against the Father? Nobody. Who coming against the Messiah? Who think they over him? Who who can make war? Mm. It's, it's... And that's why he said when the head is good, the tail is good. Come on. When the government is righteous, the people are happy. Mm -hmm. the head Our is government sick, the is sick. wicked. The people are not happy. Yeah. Look at the nations. They've had enough. We've had enough. Hey, come on. Come on. I ain't even worried. You know, you know what you're I'm right. Saying? We've, like, had we, we've had enough. We've had enough. If the nations had enough, you know Israel had Come enough on. because we're the ones cursed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, chapter 66, 12 through 14. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 12 through 14. For thus saith the Most High, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you. And ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Most High shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. Woo! Hallelujah. My Prosperity shall overflow Jerusalem like a river, mm. says the Most High. For I will send it. The riches of the Gentiles will flow to her. Mm. Y'all keep talking about a wealth transfer. This is the wealth transfer. Mm -hmm. The Father is going to make them bring everything they stole Come on. right back to Come on. Jerusalem. Come on. Prosperity mm -hmm. shall overflow uh -huh. Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I will send it. Who? The Father will send it. The riches of the Gentiles will flow to her. Mm -hmm. Her children shall be nursed at her breast. Mm -hmm. No more Similac, no more uh, 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 concoctions yeah. for our children. No, natural breast milk. That's why we have the breast, to feed our children Come on. naturally. Come on. Her children shall be nursed at her breast, carried on her hips, and dangled on her knees. I will comfort you there as a little one is comforted by his mother. Mm. When you see Jerusalem, your heart will rejoice. Vigorous health will be yours. Mm. All the world will see the good hand of the Most High upon his people. 
and his wrath upon his enemies. My goodness. For see, the Most High will come with fire mm. and with swift chariots. Y'all keep talking about UFOs. Don't you get on no UFO? Mm. Yes, the Father has chariots, but his chariots are coming with what? Fire! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With swift chariots of doom to pour out the fury of his anger and his hot rebuke with flames of fire. So the father has chariots, he does, but they're coming to pour out the wrath of the father on his enemies. Hot rebuke, okay? For the Most High will punish the world by fire and by his sword. And the slain of the Most High shall be many. A thousand shall fall at that side, and ten thousand at that right hand. That's eleven thousand per person. You're going to see a lot of people die because they refuse to come to the light. They refuse to turn from their wickedness. They plan with the Most High, and they will not win. Okay? You don't want to be at odds with the Father. You see what happened to them: Sodom and Gomorrah, Israel, Egypt, Esau, Moab. Jericho. Um, he's not playing. Mm -hmm. Babylon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to Isaiah 55, 1 through 9. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1 through 9. Ho, every one that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye, buy and eat. Mm. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and mm. without price. Mm. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which sa which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader, and commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Most High thy Allah mm -hmm. And for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Most High while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Most High, and he will have mercy upon him, and to all Allah for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Most High. Mm. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say there, is anyone thirsty? Mm -hmm. Come and drink, even if you have no money. Mm -hmm. Come, take your choice of wine and milk. It's all free. Why spend your money on food stuff that don't give you strength? Why pay for groceries that don't do you any good? Mm. Listen, and I'll tell you where to get good food. That fattens up the soul. Mm -hmm. The father talking about soul food, okay? Mm -hmm. He's not talking about these grocery stores. Mm -hmm. We spending our hard-earned money on groceries and food that do not benefit us health-wise. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's making us sick. Yep. As we pay to kill ourselves, mm -hmm. okay? He said no more of that. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Come get this fresh wine and mm -hmm. this fresh mm -hmm. water and mm -hmm. this fresh milk. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you good food that's good for the soul, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. No more GMOs, mm -hmm. none of that. Mm -hmm. No more uh, uh, reaping the harvest before it's fully ripe. grown mm -hmm. and ripe. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Come get this sweet, good fruit. Mm -hmm. Make your lips quiver. And that, huh? that's what he's bringing us back to. We were the husbandmen. We were the farmers. We were the ones that produced the food. Yes, we were. But now that we're on the bottom, you don't get to, you don't get to do... You got to go to the grocery store. Yeah. Let somebody else farm this food. You don't know what they put in, what they did, if they even let it farm, raise fish. Just get it out the sea. <laughs> Why you need to raise fish on your farm? Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing to this food? Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm not saying everybody is doing something, but it just don't make sense because mm -hmm. the Father already had a divine way for us to eat. Mm -hmm. Everything was from the earth. He said, everything y'all need, I left y'all. The earth will produce what y'all need. Mm -hmm. Now we go going to man, getting tainted food that's making us sick, mm -hmm. and we're paying for it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, for the life of your soul is at stake. Sorry, y'all. I am ready to make an everlasting covenant with you to give you all the unfailing mercies and love that I had for King David. He proved my power by conquering foreign nations. You also will command the nations and they will come running to obey. Not because of your own power or virtue, but because I, the Most High, your Father, have glorified you. Hallelujah. Listen, y'all. The, the nations will come running to Israel to obey the commands of Israel. Okay? The Father also says he wants to make an everlasting covenant with us. Now, we know the first covenant we made, we broke it. The second covenant that was made was established by the blood of the Messiah. We are going into a third covenant where we will be flawless, where we can't sin anymore, where we will obey. We will be exactly how the Father wants us to be. That is the third covenant that will be made with the remnant of Israel. Our sins will be forgiven. We will be a righteous people. There will be no fault in us. There will be no stained spots or wrinkles found in Israel. All will be righteous. All will obey. There will be no more strife, no more arguing, oh, do it this way, do All will know. All will be on one accord mm -hmm. as a nation, mm -hmm. okay? A covenant that will never send us back into captivity Hallelujah. ever again. Hallelujah. This is it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Seek the Most High while you can find Him. Y'all want to partake in this beautiful restoration of Israel? Seek the Father while He can still be found. Call upon him now while he is near. Let men cast off their wicked deeds. Get away from sin. Run away from sin. Stop doing evil. Stop being wicked. And do what thus says the Most High. If you want to partake in the restoration and the rulership and the millennial reign with the king, find, seek him while he can be found. Ask him to help you to, to, to lift these wicked deeds up off you you can't do it by yourself you need the most high mm -hmm. we are sinners we need a savior mm -hmm. he sent the savior messiah himself the most high in the flesh mm -hmm. he will save you he is eager to save you slow to anger quick to forgive come let us talk this over mm -hmm. confess your faults mm -hmm. let me know that you acknowledge your wrongdoings and let me help you be right mm -hmm. before my sight okay let me present you faultless before the presence of my glory with exceeding oh, joy. Let me clean you up. He said, I can make any garment white as snow. I don't care how bloody, crimson red, filthy and dirty you are. I will make you whole. I will make you clean, but you have to give it to me. I will not force you to give it to me. You have to want to give it to me. Your soul, your life is on the line. Okay? Hallelujah. It says, for he will abundantly pardon this plan of mine is not what you would work out neither are my thoughts the same as yours for just as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts higher than yours mm -hmm. hallelujah. hallelujah okay all right let's go to isaiah 60 10 through 22 this is the book of isaiah chapter 60 verse 10 through 22 and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. <coughs> Excuse me. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together. 
to beautify the place of my sanctuary and I will make the place of my feet glorious. Mm. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee mm. and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet mm. and they shall call thee the city of the most high, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Allahim, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness violence shall no more be heard in thy land wasting nor destruction within thy borders but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise the sun shall be no more thy light by day neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee but the Allah shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy Allah thy glory thy sun shall no more go down neither shall the moon withdraw itself for the Most High shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Most High, will hasten it in his time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. Foreigners will come and build your cities. Presidents and kings will send you aid. For though I destroyed you in my anger, I will have mercy on you through my grace. Your gates will stay wide open around the clock to receive the wealth of many lands. The kings of the world will cater to you. For the nations refusing to be your allies will perish they shall be destroyed. The glory of Lebanon will be yours. The forest of firs and pines and box trees to beautify my sanctuary. My temple will be glorious. The sons of anti-Semites, fake Jews, will come and bow before you. They will kiss your feet. They will call Jerusalem the city of the Most High and the glorious mountain of the Holy One of Israel. Though once despised and hated and rebuffed by all, you will be beautiful forever, a joy for all the generations of the world, for I will make you so. Powerful kings and mighty nations shall provide you with the choices of their goods to satisfy your every need. And you will know at last and really understand that I, the Messiah, am your savior and redeemer, the mighty one of Israel. I will exchange your brass for gold, your iron for silver, your wood for brass, your stones for iron. Peace and righteousness shall be your taskmakers. Violence will disappear out of your land. All war will end. Your walls will be salvation and your gates praise. No longer will you need the sun or moon to give you light. For the Messiah, your father, will be your everlasting light and he will be your glory. Your sun shall never set. The moon shall not go down. For the Messiah will be your everlasting light. For your days of mourning will all end. All your people, all your people will be good. They will possess their land forever. For I will plant them there with my own hands. This will bring me glory. The smallest family shall multiply into a clan. The tiny group shall be a mighty nation. I, the Messiah, will bring it all to pass when it is time. Mm. Hallelujah. 
It's going to happen, mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. We have to wait on the Messiah. Mm -hmm. It is going to happen. We have to wait on the Messiah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Those who endure to the end shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Salvation is both spiritual and physical. Mm -hmm. We are going to be saved from captivity mm -hmm. physically and will be spiritually saved because he will forgive our sins. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Salvation. Mm -hmm. We have to wait on the Messiah. Okay? Don't you move ahead of him. You will be disappointed. Okay? All right. That's verse 60. I'm at chapter 60. All right. Chapter 61, 1 through 9. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 1 through 9. The spirit of the Most High, Allah is upon me, because the Most High hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the mm. captives, Come on. and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, mm. to proclaim the acceptable year of the Most High, and the day of vengeance of our Allah to comfort all that mourn. That's where Christ died. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, mm. to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Most High, that he might be glorified, and they shall build the old wastes. They shall raise up the former desolations and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Most High. Mm. Men shall call you the ministers of our Allah. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double mm. and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them for i the most high love judgment i hate robbery for burnt offering mm. and i will direct their work in truth and i will make an everlasting covenant with them and their seed shall be known among the gentiles and their offspring among the people all that see them shall acknowledge them. Mm, hallelujah. That they are the seed which the Most High hath blessed. And what does that say? Oh, we're, we in chapter um, 61. 61. But I see it says restoration of Israel Come on. in chapter 62. That says continued. So oh, continued. Con yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And they shall rebuild the ancient ruins, repair, repairing cities long ago destroyed reviving them though they have lain there many gen generations foreigners shall be your servants they shall feed your flocks and plow your fields and tend your vineyards you shall be called priests of the most high ministers of our father you shall be fed with the treasures of the nations and shall glory in their riches Instead of shame and dishonor you shall have a double portion Hallelujah. of prosperity and everlasting joy Hallelujah. for I the Messiah love justice I hate robbery and wrong I will faithfully reward my people for their suffering Hallelujah. and make an everlasting covenant with them their descendants shall be known and honored among the nations all shall realize that they are a people the Most High has blessed mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. hallelujah Okay. About instant fame. You're going to be known no, everywhere. The, the, the world's going to know exactly who mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. They're going to know exactly who your father is. They're going to know our king. He will be ruler of the entire world. We will be basking in the treasures and the riches of this of these nations. We will be prosperous. Our land is going to be like the Garden of Eden. Our children will be blessed. Mm -hmm. There will be no more weeping. There will be no more crying. There will be no more hurt. There will be no more war. There will be no more evictions. Every Everything you own will be yours. Mm -hmm. our, 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 our crops will be blessed. Our cattle will be blessed. Mm -hmm. It's the reverse of the curse in Deut Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Blessings in the field. Blessings in the city. Mm -hmm. Blessings with the womb. Mm -hmm. Blessings on our children. On. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay? Our, our, our nation is going to be extremely blessed. The animals are going to get along. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is what we're waiting on. Mm -hmm. We have been through so much, Israel. Mm -hmm at our own choice mm -hmm. but we are promised restoration Hallelujah. 
by the most high and he will do it. We mm -hmm. have to hang on. Mm -hmm. Our suffering is not in vain. Mm -hmm. Okay. He says, I will faithfully reward my people for their suffering. He knows exactly what we've been through. Mm -hmm. He knows the decision we made to get us here. And he also knows that the enemies have gone way too far. Mm -hmm. And he also knows I will keep my promise to Abraham and I will bring my people once again to this land and it will flourish and my son will be ruler of the entire earth from his home, Jerusalem, Mount Zion. He had to even prophesy to the land and the mountains because they've been going through it. Mm -hmm. These nations stay robbing our land for resources, mm -hmm. claiming property that does not belong to them mm -hmm. the temple will be rebuilt we will worship the messiah the most high in our land mm -hmm. we will get along as a people mm -hmm. we will follow and obey the laws mm -hmm. of the most high double for your trouble. we will rejoice mm -hmm. we will sing and be glad about it Hallelujah. huh we will enjoy our feast days in peace mm -hmm. we will eat good mm -hmm. we will live good Mm -hmm. We're getting everything back and some while our enemies fall to the wayside mm -hmm. for the choices that they have made against the Most High and His people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. What's that? Chapter 61? Mm -hmm. Let's go to Ezekiel 36. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. 1 through 15. Verse 1 through 15. <clears throat> also, thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Most High. Thus saith the Most High, thy Allah Hayim, because the enemy hath said against you, Aha! Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, thus saith the Most High, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Most High. Thus saith the Most High to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes mm -hmm. and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith the Most High, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumea which have mm -hmm. appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. Mm. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, thus saith the Most High, behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Most High, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown, and I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the city shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be builded. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit. And I will settle you after your old estates and will do better unto you than at your beginnings. And ye shall know that I am the most high. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee and thou shalt be their inheritance and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. Thus saith the most high, because they say unto you, thou land devourest up men. And has, and has bereaved thy nations. Therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither bereave thy nations any more, saith the Most High. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more. Neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people any more. Neither shalt thou cause thy nations to fall any more, saith the Most High Allah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Your enemies have sneered at you and claimed your ancient heights as theirs and destroyed you on every side and sent you away as slaves to many lands. Hmm. You are mocked and slandered. Therefore, prophesy and say to the hills and mountains, dales and valleys of Israel, the Most High says, I am full of fury because you suffered shame before the surrounding nations. Therefore, I have sworn with hand held high that those nations are going to have their turn of being covered with shame. Mm. But for Israel, Hallelujah. good times mm -hmm. will return. Good mm. times. <laughs> there will be heavy crops of fruit to prepare for my people's return. Hallelujah. I've been fainting for some grapes mm -hmm. with seeds in them. Mm -hmm. And they will be coming home again soon. See, I am for you. And I will come and help you as you prepare the ground and sow your crops. Okay? The Most High says, Now the other nations taunt you, saying Israel is a land that devours her people. But they will not say this anymore. Mm. Your birth rate will rise and your infant mortality rate will drop off sharply, wow. says the Most High. No longer will those heathen nations sneer. For you will no longer be a nation of sinners, mm. the Most High says. Hallelujah. No more miscarriages, ladies. Mm -hmm. our, our, during this curse, during the fall, our womb was cursed. No more barren. You're going to have many children. No more birth defects. No more toddlers dying young. Uh-uh. The curse will be reversed. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's, 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 let's hurry it up. Um... Let's go to Ezekiel 37, 21 through 28. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21 through 28. Mm -hmm. And say unto them, thus saith the Most High, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains mm -hmm. of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, mm -hmm. and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Mm. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their des nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their Allahim. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their, ch and their children's children forever. Mm -hmm. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Ye, I mean, I'm sorry. Yea, I will be their Allahim and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Most High, do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Most High says, I am gathering the people of Israel from among the nations and bringing them home from around the world to their own land to unify them into one nation. Hallelujah. One king shall be king of them all. That's the Messiah. <laughs> no longer shall they be divided into two nations. They shall stop polluting themselves with idols and their other sins. For I will save them from all this foulness. So, there will be no more northern and southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're going to be one nation in one land with one king on one accord. Come on. Okay? Unity. Unity. Then, then they shall truly be my people and I their creator, their father. And my servant, the Messiah, shall be their king, their only shepherd. And they shall obey my laws and all my wishes. They shall live in the land of Israel where their fathers lived. And 
the land I gave my servant Jacob. They and their children after them shall live there and their grandchildren for all generations. So it don't matter how many children we have, the land will always be ours once we're reestablished, okay? The land ain't going to never be in the hands of the heathens. They will never claim what is not theirs. It'll always be in our possession, okay? Hallelujah. And I will make a covenant of peace with them, an everlasting pact. I will bless them and multiply them and put my temple among them forever. And I will make my home among them. Yes, I will be their father and they shall be my people. And when my temple remains among them, then the nation shall know that I, the Messiah, have set Israel apart for special blessings. Come on. Hallelujah. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Ezekiel. 16 we're almost done y'all Ezekiel 16 59 through 63 Ezekiel 16 59 through 63 this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 16 mm -hmm. verse 59 through 63 mm -hmm. for thus saith the most high I will even deal with thee as thou hast done which has despised the oath in breaking the covenant mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Then thou shalt remember thy ways and be ashamed when thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Most High, that thou mayest remember and be confounded, and never open thy mouth any more because of thy shame, when I am pacified toward thee for all that thou hast done, saith the Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So here the Father is saying, I will repay you for your broken promises. You lightly broke your soul and vows to me. Yet I will keep the pledge I made to you when you were young. So even though we broke the covenant with the Most High, He will not break His promises from that covenant. He is always going to be good, even when we are flawed, okay? I will establish an everlasting covenant with you forever. This is the new covenant that He's talking about to His remnant. And you will remember with shame all the evil you have done, and you will be overcome by my favor when I take your sisters Samaria and Sodom and make them your daughters for you to rule over. You will know you don't deserve this gracious act for you did not keep my covenant. I will reaffirm my covenant with you and you will know I am the most high. Despite all you have done, I will be kind to you again. You will cover your mouth in silence and in shame when I forgive you. All that you have done, says the Most High. Mm -hmm. So the Father is just proclaiming His goodness. Even though we fell, even though we broke the covenant, the Father will always be good and keep His word, His end of the bargain. And we will cover ourselves in shame, knowing that we do not deserve this restoration. Mm -hmm. We do not deserve this prosperity. We do not deserve the blessings because we broke the covenant. Broke but because He is good, He is going to do it. For His name's sake, it's not because we deserve it. Yeah. And he's going to make a new covenant with Israel, one that can never be broken, one that will never send us in captivity. That is the new covenant that's going to be reestablished with his remnant, okay, in the land of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. So the Father is good even when we are not. Yes. All praises to the Most High for being a man of his word yes. and always being good and keeping his promises, yes. okay? Hallelujah. All right, real quick. Um... That was Ezekiel 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to Micah. The book of Micah, chapter 5. This is the book of Micah, chapter 5. Verses 7 through 15. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Most High, as the showers upon the grass, that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. 
and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both treatheth down and teareth in pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Most High, that I will cut off thy horses out of the midst of thee, and I will destroy thy chariots. I will cut off the cities of thy land, and throw down all thy strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Thy graven images also will I cut off, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So will I destroy thy cities. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. So in these scriptures, the Messiah is talking about Israel being uh, restored. Even as a people, we are not going to let anybody bully us. We're not going to let any nations take advantage of us anymore. Okay. He's going to raise a standard when it comes to Israel. We are not going to be played with. Okay. Mm -hmm. At that time, says the Most High, I will destroy all the weapons you depend on and tear down your walls and demolish the defenses of your city. I will put an end to all witchcraft. There will be no more fortune tellers to consult and destroy all your idols. Never again will you worship what you have made. Mm. And I will abolish the heathen shrines from among you and destroy the cities where your idol temples stand. And I will pour out my vengeance upon the nations who refuse to obey me. Then the nation of Israel will refresh the world like a gentle dew or the welcome showers of rain. And Israel will be as strong as a lion. The nations will be like helpless sheep before her. She will stand up to her foes. All her enemies will be wiped out. So it's not going to be like now where y'all can just come and kill Israelites and take advantage and do what y'all want and trample over, uh-uh. We're gonna be strong as a lion. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna just come into our gates and think you can do what you want, uh-uh. And if you don't obey our king, the Messiah, you will be destroyed, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. There is a new sheriff in town. Come on. All right, let's go to Zechariah 8, one through eight. This is the book of Zechariah chapter eight. One through eight. This is the book of the prophet. Come on, let me say the prophets. Again, the word of the Most High of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith the Most High of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Thus saith the Most High, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Most High of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Most High of hosts, There shall yet old men, and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus saith the Most High of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Most High of hosts? Woo, the Father ain't playing. Thus saith the Most High of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their Allah Hayim, in truth and in righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I couldn't <laughs> imagine being on um, Mount Sinai when the Father was speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Most High declares that Jerusalem will have peace and prosperity so long that there will once again be aged men and women hobbling through her streets on canes, and the streets will be filled with boys and girls at play. Hallelujah. Man, what a sight to behold. Yes. Like, even our elders gonna be there. They gonna be good. Our children are gonna be good. They can play outside without having to worry about being harassed by police or being shot by gang so violence. having a toy BB gun. Come on, like, none of that. They're gonna be able to play and be children and be joyful, okay? It says in verse 2, the Most High says, I am greatly concerned, yes, 
furiously angry because of all that Jerusalem's enemies have done to her. Now I am going to return to my land and I myself will live within Jerusalem and Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city and the holy mountain and the mountain of the most high of hosts. Okay. Verse six, the most high says, this seems unbelievable to you, a remnant, small, discouraged as you are, but it is no great thing for me. You can be sure that I will rescue my people from east and west wherever they are scattered. I will bring them home again to live safely in Jerusalem and they will be my people and I will be their creator and their father, mm. just and true and yet forgiving them of their sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know this seems unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So small, such a remnant. We've mm -hmm. lost so many people. Mm -hmm. It seems unbelievable, but he said, this is no great thing. This mm -hmm. is light work. This Watch what I do. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will be glorified before the nations for bringing you out of captivity, mm -hmm. keeping my word, and doing exactly what I said I was going to do. Hallelujah. Okay, Zechariah 12, 8 through 9. This is the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 12, verses 8 through 9. In that day, shall the Most High defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as, as the Most High, as the angel of the Most High before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Mm. The Most High will defend the people of Jerusalem. The weakest among them will be as mighty as King David. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't think y'all heard that correctly. <laughs> the weakest among them will be as King David. So mm. that means no men, no man in the kingdom will be less than King David. David has killed tens of thousands. And he had a heart after the most high. Yes, he did. Listen, our men are down pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all of them, but the majority of them, they're down bad. They mm -hmm. have no clue who they are. They want to be rappers. They want to make it to the NBA. They will have the stature, the, 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 the level as King David. The heart, the mind. None of our men are going to be weak. No. None of our men are going to be lost. All of our men will have a heart after the father. Oh, oh my man. goodness. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll oh, wait man. for my husband. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Hallelujah. And the royal line will be as the most high. Mm -hmm. Like the angel of the most high who goes before them. For my plan is to destroy all the nations that come against you. This is my plan. To destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Men, hang on. Mm -hmm. Hang on. There will be no one in the kingdom less than King David. Mm. Wow. All of our men, this is what women desire, that a man take his place as head and submit to the father and love the father. That is what we're going to see. Women rejoice. Hallelujah. Women yeah. rejoice. <laughs> and that's when, you know, not that's when, but how can we as women ever not submit to that? You got to be you. kidding me. Gladly openly willingly you mean i'm calling you lord in the house you it's not a me joke your husband is going to have the same status as king david man 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 mm. if you don't submit to that you don't belong in the king <laughs> straight like that okay last Mother scripture guys mm. isaiah 43 10 through 21 this is the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 10 through 21. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Most High, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, 
and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the most high, and beside me there is no savior. I have declared and have saved and I have shewed when there was no strange God among you. Mm. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Most High, that I am Allah I am. Mm. Yea, before the day was, I am he. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it? Thus saith the Most High, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. I am the Most High, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Most High, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to drink to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall shew forth my praise. You said to 21? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! The father ain't playing. Okay, about time to wrap it on up okay. and head on in now. <laughs> okay, because the father doing his business and we got to go sit down somewhere. This is the voice of the father. Like my roaring thunder. Hallelujah. You're talking to somebody. Babylon, it's time. Your time is up. He's, he said, and, and it's sealed with the thundering and lightnings. He said, that's what I'm going to do. They said, Moses, you go talk to him. <laughs> I can't do it. My goodness. Yes, so we're going to finish off there. Isaiah chapter 43, verses what? 10 through 21. Yes. But I have witnesses, O Israel, says the Most High. You are my witnesses and my servant, chosen to know and to believe and to understand that I alone am the Most High. There is no other. There never was Ooh. and there never will be. Hallelujah. I am that I am. Mm -hmm. And there is no other savior. Hallelujah. Whenever you have thrown away your idols and have shown you, thrown away your idols, I have shown you my power. With one word, I have saved you. Hallelujah. You have seen me do it. Mm -hmm. You are my witnesses. That is, that it is true. From eternity to eternity, I am the Most High. No one can oppose what I do. The Most High, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel says, For your sakes, I will send an invading army against Babylon My goodness. that will walk in almost unscathed. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The boast of the Babylonians will turn to cries of fear. Mm. You think you the land of pride, the greatest country in the world? We're going to see. He said, for your sake, Israel, mm -hmm. I'm going to send an invading army to America. Coming in unscathed. They're mm -hmm. not even going to be aware that they're in here. You think your little naval ships finna do something? No. <laughs> he said, the boast of Babylon will turn to cries of fear. Mm. What's going on? Where's your army? Where's your air force? What's going on? What are all these... Um, uh, 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 training for. Yeah. Y'all yeah, don't even flying. know that y'all going against the Most High. Y'all think y'all going against Russia and stuff? Uh-uh. The Most High is using these nations to come against Ameri mm -hmm. America and they're going to be carrying the wrath of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Meaning, there's nothing America is going to be able to do against these nations. Mm -hmm. Your time is up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, but forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. For I am going to do a brand new thing. See, I have already begun. Don't you see it? I will make a road through the wilderness of the world for my people to go home. Why do you think Euphrates River and all that drying up? Come on. He said, don't you see it? I'm already at work. Mm -hmm. I am going to make a road through the wilderness of the world for my people to go home. And create rivers for them in the desert. Mm. The wild animals in the fields will thank me jackals and ostriches too for giving them water in the wilderness yes springs in the desert mm. 
so that my people, my chosen ones, can be refreshed. Mm-hmm. I have made Israel for myself, and these, my people, will someday honor me before mm. the world. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a lesson. Hallelujah. What a word, Father. Hallelujah. What a restoration. Yes. Hold on, Thank Israel. You, Hold on Thank you, and wait on the Messiah mm-hmm. for greater good times mm-hmm. are coming our way. Yes, they are. We had to do the time for the crime, mm-hmm. but now we finna be released from prison. You know, mm-hmm. when you get out of jail, everybody waiting on you. Mm-hmm. It's turn up time. Mm-hmm. It's time to rejoice. Yep. The Father is going to bring us home from the land of captivity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. America. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Bye. Pharaoh, let my people go. You ain't got no choice. Even if you say no, you're gonna <laughs> let us go. Thus for the your sake, I'm sending an army. They're they not coming for Israel. They're coming for y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 So you can keep doing your flight patterns all mm-hmm. you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it will not prevail against the Most High. Okay? We love you guys. And forgive us for our zeal if it's overly done or too much or you're feeling some type of way. But we love the Father. We love his word and we love his people. And again, I, we, we pray that you pray for us as we continue to pray for you all. Uh, Guys, continue to stay steadfast, unmovable in the word and in the works of the most high. Continue to move and walk in righteousness for his name's sake. Continue to let him lead you. Repent, repent, repent. Turn from your wicked ways. It is high time Mm -hmm. for us to get ourselves together, to come back to the most high. Stop playing around Mm -hmm. with who we know he is and stop taking his love and his mercy and his grace for granted. Brothers, hold on. Hold on. You are not thrown away. You are not not loved. You are not going to continue to be disrespected by the world or by women or by children or by anybody. Hold on, brothers. You are kings and priests of the earth. You are the very image and likeness of the most high. Women, hold on. Sister, Sister. stop arguing. Stop backbiting. Stop bickering. Stop hating on one Being another. Hottie. Love, 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 love. Turn from them wicked ways. Stay up out them brother sheets. Stay up out other people's houses, out other people's business. And love, turn back to the Father so that he can yoke us up with our husbands, with our brothers who are serving him in spirit and in truth so that they may love us as Christ loved the church. He's coming back for a bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. You guys stay encouraged, stay steadfast, continue to pray, continue to fast, and continue to seek the most high while he can still be found. Hallelujah Hallelujah. unto the only wise Messiah, our Savior. Unto him be glory, be majesty, be dominion and power, both now and forever. Hallelujah. And if the Father wills it, guys, we'll be back before you again. All praises to the Most High. And y'all continue to be blessed. Shalom. Shalom.